This is the first in a series of projects that we're doing where we're investigating um, why it is that people benefit from performing music with other people. We are recording brain activity from four violinists while they perform with the Saskatoon Symphony Orchestra. These projects are a collaboration where we're going to investigate um, brain activity during performance to see how that relates to boosts that people experience in well-being as a result of engaging in the performance. In January 2017, the Saskatoon Symphony Orchestra signed a Memorandum of Understanding with the University of Saskatchewan, kind of the first of its kind. So it allowed us to open up possibilities, much like this medical research. This is not something we normally would get to do. Uh, so to be able to connect with psychology, medicine, it's a unique opportunity. What's new and exciting about this project is the fact that we are able to collect brain data from four people simultaneously during a live performance outside of the lab. It's pretty common for people to experience a sense of well-being when they're engaging in these kinds of group music performance. And understanding why that happens, I think, would be exciting for anyone. For opening night, we're actually going to be uh, giving you a live snapshot of this medical research. The orchestra will open our season with this incredible piece of music, Elan by Derek Chark. And uh, you'll watch the uh, projections above the orchestra so you can kind of experience the research in real time. Once we understand why it is that people experience benefits when they engage in music performance, we can use that information exactly to create therapies, interventions, when we're listening to music, we aren't just passively accepting it, we're actually interacting with it and we're engaging with it. With this mobile EEG, we can actually maybe be recording brain activity between a music therapist and a client. We also have projects set up where we're going to use the mobile EEG um, in experiments designed to see whether we can use these simple mobile systems to help with things like diagnosing epilepsy, diagnosing dementia in rural and remote locations. I think it opens up a lot of doors for understanding how people exist in a social world.